summer night, setting very easy fractions in front. Chase that lead, there was a circle of love. Under a ride towards into the last 600 was Basharat. As the heads turn for home, continues to be summer night. Had that lead about length and a quarter in front of circle of love. Then we had Basharat who avoided traffic. Cold pursuit was brought into the race. But perhaps this was a bridge too far for a cold pursuit. The handicap got to it. Into the home straight, the winner, Summer Knight, was just given an easy rein and went away from them about 2-3 clear. In second, there was Circle of Love who kept hopping and puffing. Perhaps will come on for this run and Basharat filled in the third spot. So Summer Knight makes every post a winning one for the Wolf 777 Happy 2023 Handicap. Big Brown on the inside. Up on the outside, there is uh, Dubai Star. And then uh, on the wider outside, then comes uh, El Patron. But as they straighten up, you've got Big Brown from Magnite on the outside. Hellblazer beautifully placed on the inside railings. Dubai Star trapped three wide. And then Big Brown shifts out. And they all go very wide, giving Hellblazer a dream run along the inside. So Hellblazer takes it up there, full of grace. Trevor trying to ask him for an effort, but he's a little sluggish in the early stages. And although he does manage to close a bit on Hellblazer, Chisty keeps him going. He's got the advantage. And after that, he manages to keep Hellblazer going to win this Wolf 777 7 furlong handicap. So Hellblazer first and full of grace second. Jugad on the rail, Sea Dragon in the middle, Prosperous Prince behind, and there's Sun God in third position at this stage, coming up to challenge on the wider outside. As they straighten up, Jugad just the leader from Sea Dragon, then comes uh, Prosperous Prince, and then the minute Hussey Balam pulls the stick on Sun God, he quickens and draws away majestically. So there were no hard luck stories here. Sun God was just too good for the opposition to win the third race very, very convincingly. Do you, you play your way, makes the pace. In second, there is Divine Hunt. The one who comes from way behind there is Mandolin with Pete Tejeshwar. They're really upping the pace as the end of the last 450 or so. Do you, you play your way, keeps on finding something in front the first challenge comes from divine hunt down the center the one who got a lovely opening but nothing came of it there was divya shakti or while all this was unfolding mandolin weaved a passage down the center and starts coming up with giant strides but divine hunt mandolin got into a ding dong battle all through the last 150 meters there was the inside there was divine hunt one point was ahead mandolin put his head on the outside that divine hunt mandolin I think Mandolin on the replay has got it, but I'll wait for the judges to announce the verdict. The last 600, Psychic Force continues to enjoy the lead into the, la into the home straight. Cliffhanger, Stockbridge, Oasis, they're all in box seat. They're waiting for their turn to hit the front. While all this is unfolding, your winner, Third Avenue, takes the inside run, the cutaway, and shoots through towards the inside. Stockbridge, is trying to take stock of the situation. Oasis getting a little flat-footed, hopping and puffing. Suraj Naridu really working hard on Oasis, but towards the inside, you can spot the winner about 100 meters from home because Third Avenue absolutely started accelerating and went away with the Wolf 777 RCDC Gold Wars. Stockbridge is second. I'll hand it over to the judges' box to announce the placings for the fifth race of the afternoon. kind of magic in Ramiel. These were the two fancied runners and they're cutting the wind in front. Contribute tucked in on the fence. A length and a half away there, Imperial Gesture. Miropi has got just one behind her at this stage and that's Super Stride. They negotiate the turn. Kind of magic still going nicely. Ramiel starts accelerating but he's being pushed now to try to get on terms. Contribute takes a run on the inside. But just watch Neeraj Rawal on Miropi. He just straightens her out. Hands and heels, asks her for an effort, and just look at that amazing response from the daughter of Western Aristocrat. She's just drawn away from them. They've had no answer whatsoever as she wins the Wolf 7-7 seven, seven, 
Indian produce steaks. Indian Tiger is making the pace and second there is Sheer Force and third there is Tamil's Choice. On the outside we had uh, Regency Smile who made the first move and Ostini Karacha who was a little lethargic in the beginning part of the race came up towards the inside. Pisa who was having its first start on the Calcutta track came widest of all as they enter the home straight. You can see in the white and red jacket accelerating there is Regency Smile and goes for Rome. The one who comes up late on the outside there is Pisa and the claret and gold epaulets but the race is all but over because Regency Smile is going further and further away. Back to back win for Regency Smile. This property of Mr. Rajay Jalan trained by Mr. Vijay Singh. One more reminder for all our patrons. Next Sunday, 8th of January is our derby. So be there.